Hi, welcome back to AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on Chapter 9.4, Transformation Using the Unit Square. This is a great A star video, so I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So, um, this chapter is quite easy because we're dealing with things that we know before, but applying it to matrices. Uh, you'll have definitely, um, by this time, let, um, heard of, or know, or even can use, reflection, rotation, and enlargement, uh, using a graph. And you can do all these with matrices. So, yeah, uh, shall we get started on the exercise? Well, not exercise, but uh, examples. So first of all, we should learn the, this uh, particular matrix. This is not the identity matrix. Remember that uh, because um, identity is 1, 0, 0, 1. This is basically the other way around. But uh, obviously, according to last chapter, it's not the inverse either. So what does this actually do. Here I have printed a unit square of a um, website and these numbers are obviously wrong but um, I can say that the coordinate of this is 0, 0, uh, this will be 1, 0, this will be 1, 1, this is 0, 1. So you can Again, use a matrix, a 2 by 1 matrix to represent a point, and just multiply all those four points using four matrices, or if you want to combine them to form one large giant 2 by 4 matrix, but I really don't recommend that. It's quick, but confusing. Do it one point by one, and plot it down, and yeah, I'll see you when you have done. Alright, now you are back. You should be able to find that 0, 0 remains 0, 0, 1, 1 remains 1, 1. But, you will find that 1, 0 actually becomes 0, 1, and 0, 1 becomes 1, 0. What does that mean is that if I have to draw a line, this is the line of reflect, uh, reflection. And how is this called? And I'll give you two seconds to think about it. And I'll now give out the answer. This is the line y equals x. So it didn't change the unit square. It just uh, flipped it around officially. So yeah, this is um, the reflection by this particular line uh, using this matrix. So now, if uh, these two are positive and it is uh, y equals x, then I will, uh, well, you guys should guess that if these two are both negative, it should be the opposite, y equals negative x. And do you want to try it? Um, get the four points and do the reflection, let's say. Okay, so now I've given the time and you should be able to say, or you should be able to plot the graph, and the graph actually does plot like this. So the answer is indeed, um, with the line of refract, uh, reflection, here equal to y equals negative x. So these points transform to these four points. And this point goes here, and obviously, and this point stays the same. So yeah, that is the reflection bit. And now we should go to rotation. So this is one of the rotation um, questions 
and this is I tell you a rotation matrix, but to where? That is the question. Every time you do a rotation, it will be center at origin. So um, whatever you say about that matrix, say center origin or center at origin. So yeah, I'll give you some time to plot this and I'll see you um, in a bit. And I'm back. So I've got my square and let me see my notes. And I know that these four points plots right here. And that is the matrix uh, transformed. Because since this is origin, we uh, start from here and we'll find that this point goes here, this point goes here, and this overlapped point goes here. So that is definitely an anti-clockwise rotation by 90 degree center or region. So what about this one? Um, as you have seen again, we multiplied all the terms by negative 1 and well, zero uh, zero again, <laughs> obviously. So, what would you guess? Will that be clockwise? I give you a few seconds to calculate this. And now I put, I will take out my magic uh, square tool and plot the graph as indeed a clockwise. Uh, rotation center zero zero and this point rotated to here and yeah you know how rotation works do you so this is a clockwise rotation matrix by 90 degree so yeah let's keep on going oh I didn't change this <laughs> so this is 2b uh, clockwise rotation so now I have yet another matrix, but this time around I have to say one thing. If you think this matrix does a rotation, the answer will go here, right? Um, wrong thing, sorry. Uh, yeah. I can't use my computer well today. Um, so, right, that is how a rotation would work, but it is also how a reflection works. So how do we distinguish between a reflection and a rotation by 180? What you do is, um, I hate to do this, but you have to add another point to the um, picture or graph or whatever so now you have a, a trapezium shape instead of a square shape and this is obviously zero too now you can do the transformation and I wait for you okay time's up time to do some um, graph drawing so you should be able to plot one point right here down to this point nope down to this point and this one and they connect together and form another trapezium and this is indeed clockwise uh, well not clockwise um, both wise rotation by 180 degree so yeah, that's all the rotation that I can tell you. And now let's proceed to another type of um, transformation. And yes, I did spoil this for you uh, in the uh, fact section. And this is indeed enlargement center origin. So yeah, you can guess what this is. A um, transformation, uh, no, an identity matrix basically multiplied by a three single number. So you can make the guess. I won't let you um, calculate it this time because you can guess the answer. 
So this is 1 by 1, 2 by 2, and 3 by 3. It's a bit too big, but that is close enough, right? So, um, yeah, that is enlargement by 3 times center region. So, yeah, nothing fancy about this. So, yeah, see you on the tips. And now the tips section. Uh, just my first tips, uh, tip is not to take this question uh, section like seriously because I am not going to tell you how to do it until um, we're at chapter 9.5 which is the final chapter of the series because it's the last chapter of the specification for the mathematics GCSE so yeah that is a shame but um, by the time I finish uh, chapter 9.5, I was still got uh, chapter 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 to go, so yeah, I skipped a lot, so I'll have to fill them all back in, but yeah, that's that. Um, I'm going to plot, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going to plot a graph, but plotting a graph helps you to rem remember how does the transformation work? And you can always make an equation out of those matrices and find the um, transformation matrix for uh, rotation or reflection. So yeah, I guess we should go to the question section now. So again, you wouldn't normally be um, doing these, especially this one, I'm not certain that, um, well, if you just multiply points, you will know what happened, but uh, it's not straightforward, let's say. It's not a single, well, put it that way, it's two transformation, um, two of those um, normal transformation that we do in one matrix. So matrices actually get you to transform a bit quicker. So I guess that's a plus. And yeah, I guess after I ran that long, I should get on with the answers. So I'm not going to count down this time. And I'll see you with the answer. And yes, these are the answers. And read it yourself. And this one, remember, both have to say uh, from origin. Or origin, whatever. Um, yeah, so that's it for this uh, chapter. 9.4 if you like this video please do leave a like button uh, click the like button uh, at the bottom of uh, the screen um, if I, you learn something again uh, click that like button or uh, leave me a comment and I will see you on the last chapter uh, last, last part of the last chapter, uh, chapter 9.5.